and parking's easy. I just park in the casino. Garage. Oh, I know. And just come over here. Come over. Absolutely. Hi there. I'm back again, the Elena Laster Show, Power of Women. As we were talking before, Mr. Robert Jones is with me. So, you know, I neglected something. I was so excited to get him on here. I'm looking at this paper he gave me, and I was just going to take a minute to read everything, then come to find out I only have a portion of what he does for the community, right? <laughs> so listen, listen to this. Okay. Robert Jones is a co-founder and chairman of the Association of Black Business and Professionals, an organization focused on economic development in the black communities whose principles are centered in the teaching of Dr. Claude Anderson and Dr. Boyce Watkins. He is also the co-founder of 413 Families. We're going to talk about that in a minute. An organization that provides supplementary education, community, and outreach. He also volunteers as a mentor for WEB Boys Academy and we weekly contributes to the Association of Black Business and Professional Saturday Reading Program. That's another topic we need to talk about. He works in the insurance industry as a client relationship relations manager for a large public, publicly traded insurance brokerage firm. Mm -hmm. Am I right? It's okay. Correct. He obtains his Bachelor of Science in Economics and Corporate Communications from Southern Connecticut State University. He's a full-time dad, which I love to hear, taking care of his son and nephew. That's a lot of work. He's on various yeah. parent-teachers organizations, <laughs> the special education advocacy team, the school centers around decision-making teams, and volunteers on numerous community-based initiatives. Now dig this. This <laughs> is only a portion of what he does. Come to find out, the rest of it didn't print out. So I'm sorry. It's so okay. this is why I'm going to have him back again. So we're getting ready to wind up the show, everybody. A half hour goes really fast. But I want to talk about the 413 families. Mm -hmm. You're the co-founder of that. Yes, yes. Tell me about the 413 families. So 413. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, fire. Okay. Okay. So you are the co-founder of Four One Three Families. Yes. I'm not familiar with it. You have to really school so, me on this. So this this kind of um, the genesis genesis of this started in the PTO at Sumner Ave Elementary School. Mm -hmm. So when you're after school and you're picking your kids up, you know, parents yeah. usually show up early, right? Right. And you're looking around and you're just observing and then when the kids come out you're, you're observing the, the interaction with parents and the kids and you're seeing who's wild and who's not wild. You start labeling that kid. And <laughs> um, it was a parent and I co connected eyes and I was looking at her sons and I was just like you know very polite boys very yeah. good boys. Yeah. And she was looking at my son, thinking the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a connection. Yeah. Yep. So I sauntered over to her, to her and I introduced myself. And um, it's important that as a parent, and you're raising kids, right? Mm -hmm. If there's scenarios you can control, mm -hmm. you need to control them. That's so true. Because yes. and that might be 10 percent or 20 percent of the scenarios. There's 80 percent or 90 percent that you that, that you are out of control. Out of control again. So about it. Yep. if you can control it, control it. So I think it's very important to control who your kids hang out with and associate with. Mm -hmm. And I said well, we, sh we should have a play date. And she said, Yeah, yeah, that would be great. And she goes, You know what? I, I have a couple neighbors that would probably like to like to join us too. That we we all have similar philosophies in raising kids. And I'm like, Oh, okay. Wow. So we started off with that. And then a play date between two families became play dates with six families. And then we had a program at the Basketball Hall of Fame, and we invited sports stuff, which is no longer open at the X. They, you know, they retired. Oh, right. So right. We, what we wanted to do is we wanted to bring the families and kids together, okay. and we wanted to uh, collaborate with a local um, business. Mm -hmm. And the lady at sports stuff, Tony, who was great, she brought sample shoes and because you know kids really? love shoes oh, yeah and she shoes. gave away I different things too. yeah well sneakers <laughs> <laughs> and okay. uh 
So we were like, Ipsita, who's my partner, she was like, we should, you know, we should do, we should create a business around this. And we came up with 413 Families. Oh. So we currently right now, we have an after school program. We call it 41 Kids, 413 Kids Club. And the curriculum is theater based. So where is that held at? Sumner App Elementary School. That's really? And we're, and we're poised to launch in like five or six other schools. Mm. So the thing about 413 Kids Club is we use a theater curriculum and we're using it to trick the kids into learning because kids love make-believe, right? That's true. They're writing scripts, so that helps them with oh, their sir. English language arts. Um, there's math involved. There's performance. There's um, casting. There's set setup. There's costume design. And the kids are all in the script. They have to know their lines on their script. So now, what age group are you starting with, and to what age group do you stop well, at? It's it's, mo it's open. It's right now. It's mostly um, elementary age. So what's that? Kids, uh, ten, ten, kindergarten up to up fifth to grade. Kid. So uh, my nephew's in it, of course. Okay. Uh, he's eleven. Mm -hmm. So and, we, and we've got some youngings in there, and we also have some what we like to call ambassadors, internship inter here. ambassadors who are. Typically, the older siblings of um, oh yeah, okay. the, the older siblings, right? Mm -hmm. So they come and they help out and they volunteer and they help out. So I mean, you talk about bringing community together. I mean, that's what we're doing. So now, do you fund this program by uh, grants or donations? Uh, Are you up to accepting donations? How do you, you know, how do you keep uh, we, this we going? We do accept Besides donations. coming out of your pocket, yeah, I, we do I accept donations, mm -hmm. but we charge. Okay. And um, ironically. We get a lot of kids from the Y program mm -hmm. because our fee is lower than any anything that the Y or Boys Club oh, or any sure, other after school sure, program sure. right. is offering. But we, we don't take vouchers because our, our fee is so low. Well, then you go into a whole new government thing yeah, taking yeah, vouchers, so reason. you don't want to do that. Yeah, right. we don't want to do that. But our fee is, is so low that, you know, if you can't pay that, then and right. we're, and we're not an after school program. We're a supplementary education mm -hmm. program. And we love the kids. Oh. And it's interesting because when you engage with the kids and you treat them with respect, mm -hmm. they respond that much better. Well, they you. do. And they give you respect. And guess what? We're done. I am so sorry. Right in the middle, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So listen, I, I told you we wouldn't have enough time. And uh, I'm going to have them back again and uh, to come to the Elena Lasher show. Not only the power of women, but the power of what this man is doing, the power of men. Uh, I gotta think about renaming this show here because there are so many, so many black men who are doing for the children and it's, it's just not known out there. I mean, I've just learned so much in this half hour that programs that are geared up for the young kids, I didn't even know about. I'm just at all and I'm gonna be making my rounds because I just love to see it work. And you know what, guys? We gotta help these kids. Uh, these kids are gonna fall by the wayside and they need mentoring. They need that strong black figure of a man. They need the mother too, because we brought them in this world. True. But we just have to get together and do a new initiative to bring these kids together. So with Mr. Robert Jones and all that he is doing, we need to get this out more. And parents, look, he's here. I'm sure we can put a number across the screen. Uh, if Absolutely. you want to contact him, I mean, besides the mentoring program, the 413, everything that he's doing is something that the community needs. With that said, the Elena Laster Show, I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you so much. Thank you for having Love me. Love having you Appreciate here. It. Hey, take it easy and goodbye. That was great. That was thank great. You. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. This is Nathaniel.